Okay, David here with uh, RadiationHealthRisks.com. Um, I'm doing a quick video. I just want to do a quick little video here on on this new article that we have on on uh, RadiationHealthRisks.com called 15 ways, 15 ways to protect yourself from cell phone radiation. So I'm only going to go over a few of the ways just to kind of so you can kind of get a feel for the article. I'll put a link in the description below the video. Um, where you can click and you can go uh, directly to that article and read more about it. So <clears throat> everybody knows that, uh, or at least most everybody, unless you've lived under a rock, has heard that uh, cell phone radi puts off microwave radiation, RF radiation. Um, it's uh, The World Health Organization has, a few years ago, uh, classified that, as a, that type of radiation as a carcinogen, which means it causes cancer. <laughs> Um, they've had an increase in a lot of the studies have shown that the areas where you put your cell phone has had an increase. In other words, the area of your head where cell phones are has had an increase in that section of the of uh, people's heads, an increase in brain tumors in that area. So there's lots of uh, studies that talk about the radiation and tests with cell phones and so forth. So it's good to know how to protect yourself from that. So first thing that we have is get a radiation shield. That's the first one in the article that it talks about. There's lots of different brands and different kinds. Um, we talk about some of that of which ones we like um, on, on our website. I'm going to show you one here. Um, <clears throat> basically what they are is they're a, a case that you can get for your phone um, that has in the in the cover of it just on one side um, the side that you're going to hold to your head it has uh, radiation blocking material in it now that's better I I think this is much better to have than not have if you're going to be holding it up to your head but but you've got to know that radiation is still going to leak around and you've got your phone in here it's the radiation is still going to leak you're still going to get some of it coming around into your head but you're not you're not getting the big blast of it through the four, you know, there like you normally would. So it's it's significantly better than it would be without it. And some of them even have, you know, where the in the little slot where you you know so you can hear, they'll have a metal screen in there, so that you're not getting any radiation through that uh, little peephole there, um, where the sound comes through to go into your ear. So these are definitely worth uh, worth getting. Um, <clears throat> again, uh, there's different brands and you can, you can get on our website and, and get some idea what, what we recommend, what we like. Okay. So <laughs> number two, I like this one, get an alarm clock. <laughs> A lot of people, they use their cell phone and they, as their alarm clock, which I, I do the same thing, but you set, they set it right next to their bed. Some people put it in their bed with them. That is so bad. If you get one of these uh, radiation meters, the high frequency analyzers, and you test your cell phone, this measures up to twice the US safety limit. And you measure a cell phone, especially when it's in a call, or when it's you know ringing or something like that. I mean, it pegs the meter, man. It, it's, uh, it blows way, puts out way more than, than uh, radiation any cell phone does. Than, than what this uh, meter will even read. So it's definitely pumping out the radiation. So you don't want to leave it on your bed. Um, if you go to our website, they've got all kinds of things. You can even get, for people that have a habit of sleeping with their cell phone, which again, I don't recommend doing, even with this, you can get, you can get pillowcases and sheets. Um, you can get, uh, like it looks almost like a bug canopy that you can put over your bed, you know, what for like mosquitoes or whatever. But they're they're nice looking, but it goes over your bed. That have they're fabrics that have uh, uh, metallic fibers worn in it. They make pillowcases out of them, sheets, all that stuff, clothes. Um, so, um, that uh, block. Uh, most of the radiation that comes from this stuff because it has the metallic fibers and I guess they're comfortable I haven't ever ordered any to test them out on, on those but um, so there's some people that 
they get the pillowcase with the, that, and then they stick that they still see, stick their phone under their pillowcase and stuff like that. Anyway, I I don't, I don't recommend that. What I like doing is I get one of these uh, these shields, and then I get <clears throat> which we're going to talk about this. This is number three, a wave cage. Um, I, I, if you go onto the recommended protections on radiationhealthrisks.com, it'll show you where you can get these. They got different sizes, but you can throw. What I do is I I put my uh, because I still use my phone as an alarm clock. It's better to put your phone in one of these and put it clear, you know, in the bathroom or, you know, you know, or, or way up on a shelf or something where the radiation is not getting to you um, and get in and have a regular alarm clock, electronic alarm clock or a wind up or whatever you That That's the best way to go. Um, so that's number two, get an alarm clock so you don't got the cell phone right next to you. Um, number three is get a wave cage, which is what like like what this is. Um, I've I've tested this this particular wave cage here with one of these meters, and I I have an armoire next to my bed, and you know it's it's fairly high, and so when I put my phone in there and and put it up this up on top of the armoire, um, then I've gotten back to you know laid down on my bed with one of these and turned turned the meter on. And uh, I don't, I can't detect any of the any radiation coming from it. So, so being that far away, you know, with it up high, really makes a difference for for that. Um, so that's number three, getting a, a wave cage, and then an RF kill box. Um, that's the, the fourth item that I have in that article. Um, that's basically like just a metal box. Um, uh, you know that closes with a lock on it um, that will block a hundred percent or or like one of the um, uh, you've seen those military uh, I forget what they're called but those military where you can store ammunition and stuff in them um, any any kind type of uh, metallic uh, box that has conduct that's made out of conductive metal um, will block the the radiation um, that's Truth be known, that's not my choice because I, when you have, if it blocks 100% of the radiation, like in a metal box, your cell phone's not going to work. And so if you're, if you're doing it for a cell phone, uh, you know, you still want to hear your, you want your cell phone to get reception and so that it can ring and somebody get a hold of you. That's why I think a wave cage is much better and put it up on the, on a shelf or something. Okay. Now the next item six that I have is you an uh, use an air tube headset I have one of these here to show you this is a, an example there's different brands that you can get the whole idea behind a headset is like um, if you watch any of my other videos that talk about this you'll know that like one of these normal uh, normal headsets that you have when these are plugged into the the phone the the wires in the in and the cord here act like an antenna and all the radiation from the phone go right up the cord you know right into your ear it's actually it's actually just as bad if not worse than having it having your phone like this without the protection in the case you know what I mean it's the, the radiation goes right into your ear it's not it's uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's this is worse or I think Bluetooth would even be worse because I've tested a Bluetooth and with one of these and it just it pegs a meter too. So anyway, but th this, this, the radiation comes right up. Well, with an air tube, one of these, it's, it's air through here. You got these little speakers right here. You can hear really good. Uh, you know, I've, I've used this when I'm playing music and whatever. And this little speaker, you can't hear it from out the side, but in your ear, you can hear it. And, um, you know, the sound was really good. I, I, I did I liked it a lot but anyway the idea is the radiation stops here it, it comes up the cord and then the radiation doesn't go into your head the the problem with these is they have a cord and the cord still lays there's still radiation in the cord and so like a pregnant woman or even somebody that's not pregnant you've got the radiation going right into your into your body so that's why uh, with whether you get a uh, you know whether you have a regular one like this or uh, a um, air tube 
uh, headset, you should get one of these um, these filters that go on the bottom. I, I forget what they're called. Um, ferrite bead is what they're called. In, on the protections, recommended protections tab on radiationhealthrix.com, I show you where you can get these. Um, anyway, I, I, I think you should have a couple of them on here. So the people that recommend these air tubes, they still recommend a ferrite bead at the bottom so that the cord uh, doesn't have radiation in it either. My only problem is these speakers are quite heavy and so they fall out of my ear. I don't, I don't uh, particularly enjoy using this. Um, they sell quite a bit of them. A lot of people use them. And, and so I, I, I definitely think it's a good thing. Um, what I've chosen to do, I've given one of these away, so I only have one at the moment. Normally I have two ferrite beads right there. But I've just used a regular one with a couple ferrite beads at the bottom so that it cuts most of the radiation going to my head. I'm still getting some radiation to my head, though. That's the whole uh, reason why the air tube is better, because you get zero radiation into your ear. Remember, your ears are a hole in the head. There's no bone there. So the radiation has no bone to, to filter some of it. It just, it's straight tissue going right into your brain. So that's better than what I, what I do, but that's what I do. So, um, so that's number six. Number seven is use speakerphone. So what is that talking about? You got your smartphone, you know, um, just, and I do this a lot actually during the day. If I don't have my headset plugged in, I'll just, somebody calls me, I'll just put it on speakerphone, I'll set it down on my desk, and and I can talk to everybody, and it's still getting radiation, but it's not as bad as if, you know, as having the radiation right up against your head. Um, so, I, that's for people that don't have the, you know, the blocker. So, speakerphone. Um, number eight is use a cell phone and this is the last one we're going to do in this video because I don't want to make the video any longer but this is this is a good point I want you to pay attention to this one use a cell phone with good re uh, reception what do I mean by that um, there's a there's been some studies and and some theorizing you know um, on the fact that uh, when a cell phone is low on the bars your cell phone is constantly searching for better signal all the time. And so whenever it's doing that searching like that, it's, it's, it's amped up and it's, it's using more power and putting off more radiation, sending out more signals, trying to find a better source of, of, uh, of reception. So they say if you, if you have a, a cell phone that um, is with a company that, uh, where you have really good reception, your, your cell phone just doesn't have to work quite as hard, so it, the, the uh, radiation is a little bit less. Still there, still bad, um, but that does reduce it a little bit. But I just thought that was interesting, so I included that. So with that, for the rest, that's eight. There's seven more uh, tips on how to reduce cell phone uh, radiation. Some of them have to do with your kids. That's something to think about. Um, so I recommend you going on there and, and looking at that and reading that. Again, the link's in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to this page so that when we come out with new videos, I'm always testing you know, some device and seeing what the radiation is on it, some things. So it's, if that kind of stuff's interesting to you, be sure to subscribe and like and comment. All that kind of stuff kind of helps get the word out. It tells YouTube that people are interested in this and so... Um, they show it more, so that that is all very appreciated. So with that, we'll call that a video, and we'll talk to you next time. Appreciate it. Thank you.